While 2020 has been a strange and strenuous year, many great video games helped people pass the time in quarantine, including Animal Crossing New Horizons, which provided social interaction and relaxation. The Last of Us Part II, the action adventure that continued Ellie's journey across post-apocalyptic America. And various iterations of the high-octane, first-person shooter franchise Call of Duty. Looking forward, a number of studio and independent video games that are scheduled for release in 2021 promise to offer the same, if not better, innovative storytelling, thrilling combat and daring new experiences. In this video we're going to talk about 10 most anticipated games that are going to be released in 2021. But first if you are new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe with the bell on for our future uploads. Resident Evil Village Capcom has been on a creative role that started with the inspired first-person reinvention of Resident Evil 7. The revamped re-engine has powered some of best games of recent years, including Devil May Cry 5, Resident Evil 2 Remake, and Monster Hunter World. And at least with the Resident Evil series, Capcom has remembered that the survival horror genre it helped to invent has an eager audience that isn't done with frights and zombies and inventory management. The Resident Evil series has a weird history of becoming really good and then flubbing a subsequent game by leaning a little too hard into successful ideas. Resident Evil 4 made way for a goofier, more action-packed series, while 7 returns the series to its roots. Village signals the return of series staple hero Chris Redfield, so it seems Capcom is interested in returning to the old lore of the games. That could be good or bad news, considering how nonsensical the entire story has been. Still, Capcom has shown a lot of growth in how it designs its horror set pieces. Both remakes of the second and third sequel were practically new titles altogether, ones that recontextualized the old games in fresh, exciting ways. Village may yet discover new ways to needle our anxiety. Far Cry 6 I guess the question of whether will Giancarlo Esposito be good is out the window. He always seems to knock performances out of the park. Really, it's the legacy of Far Cry that's at stake here. The first game revolutionized the first-person shooter, while the third cemented what's no recognized as the Ubisoft formula for open-world games. Will the sixth game finally upend the tower-climbing, bandit-camp rating, hunting loop that the last three titles and most Ubisoft games have adhered to? Ubisoft has claimed it would start reinventing some of its series, so there's some hope that a true next-gen Far Cry might finally push the developers into new waters. It remains to be seen whether developing for the last-gen consoles might hold this title back in the same way it did Cyberpunk 2077. But for the most part, Ubisoft is pretty good at this thing. Let's see if they can be better. Gotham Knights From Warner Bros. Games Montreal, action role-playing game Gotham Knights was unveiled at DC Fandom in August. The open-world game offers a story set in the Batman universe, featuring playable characters such as Batgirl, Nightwing Red Hood and Robin, all of whom are tasked with protecting Gotham City in the wake of Batman's death. The game will be playable either solo or as a two-player online cooperative experience. Senua's Saga, Hellblade 2 Announced at the Game Awards 2019, this sequel to Hellblade. Senua's Sacrifice astounded the audience with an evocative trailer centering on protagonist Senua. The first game followed her harrowing descent into Hell, where she aimed to save the soul of her dead lover. The journey was captivating even in its most uncomfortable moments, and profound in how it tackled mental illness and psychosis, a condition rarely portrayed in video games. Far more than a simple hack and slash action game, Hellblade was praised by critics as a work of art. We don't know much about the sequel, Senua's Saga. Hellblade 2, but we hope developer Ninja Theory will go to the same lengths and take the same care as they did in its predecessor. Super Mario 3D World The best co-op game to come out of Nintendo's last generation will finally be released. The game has upscaled textures and better performance, and on top of that, it will include brand new content, including a new world. Not much is known about the new content, other than a tantalizing shot of a level featuring stormy weather and a sphinx. 
Super Mario 3D World was already a great couch party experience that took the classic 2D Mario level structure and applied it to 3D environments, with 3D Mario games typically tight controls. It created a quasi-competitive environment where you purposely take risks for a higher personal score at the hilarious cost of your teammates' lives. Taking this delicate balance online is the boost the original needed to become a go-to party game. Hogwarts Legacy Electronic Arts churned out so many middling Harry Potter games over the years that we all got sick of them. Now, so much time has passed that I'm yearning to know what can be created with today's next-generation technology. And I like the idea that this moves on to a new generation of characters and places outside Hogwarts. Halo Infinite The expectations for this title are high. Halo Infinite will lift the Xbox again. Halo Infinite will change online multiplayer. Halo Infinite will rescue the series from its years-long lull. Halo Infinite will, at least, be good. The game was sent back into incubation after a chilly, meme-filled reception to a preview this past summer. Now with the addition of Joseph Staten, the original trilogy's writer, as creative director, Halo Infinite is getting all the fixings it can to meet those expectations and hopefully surpass them. It's also expected to boost the already rich fortunes of the Xbox Game Pass subscription service, where it will be offered free. Pair that with the ability to play the game on the cloud via cloud, and it's clear it's in Microsoft's best interest to make Halo Infinite the crown jewel of its entire strategy. The game should be social, it should be addicting, it should feel like a whole other world. At the very least, it should be a good Halo title. It's up to Staten and the team at 343 Studios to recapture that old magic. Deathloop. First-person action shooters nowadays need something different. Different aesthetics, different gameplay, different gimmicks, to truly stand out in a genre saturated by bland same games. Deathloop appears to have all three. It takes place in a deliciously campy world filled with 60s-styled music and spy show splash screens, and gameplay evolves around the titular Deathloop. You play as Colt, a hired gun tasked with assassinating eight targets before midnight. You're also being hunted by Juliana, an agent hired to kill Colt before he hits his eight targets. If you die or fail to kill all eight targets before midnight, the loop repeats. The game is a Groundhog Day-like scenario where you slowly learn things about the loop and are doomed to repeat it until you successfully kill all targets without dying yourself. If the concept itself isn't enough to get you excited, the competitive aspect of the game should. Other players can assume the role of Juliana and hunt Colt players down before they kill their eight targets. Add the fact that Arcane Lion and Bethesda, the developers of the Dishonored series, are at the helm, and you've got a game that can definitely break the mundane first-person action shooter mold. Hitman 3 Recent games in the Hitman franchise have taken a games-as-service approach. They are supported and expanded upon long after their initial release. IO Interactive is continuing that with the release of Hitman 3. Coming January 20. Players who already own Hitman 1 and Hitman 2 can import their maps into the third game to continue from where they left off and can expect regular updates to the game post-launch. This assassination game puts you in the shoes of Agent 47, a cipher who plans out kills like a series of puzzles in large locations ripe with opportunity. At its best, the Hitman franchise offers plenty of replay value, you can hunt down foes with different methods each time. The polished and at times comedic gameplay offers creative situations like disguising yourself in a flamingo suit at a racetrack or finishing off a target by slapping them with a dead fish. For Hitman 3 fans of the series can expect new levels and under-the-hood improvements, like an engine that supports 300 active NPCs at once, making locations feel busy and lived in. If the concept itself isn't enough to get you excited, the competitive aspect of the game should. Five Nights at Freddy's – Security Breach Seeing Five Nights at Freddy's next game premiere on PlayStation's PS5 Showcase 2020 stream must have been a surreal yet satisfying moment for indie developer Scott Cawthon. A struggling game developer in the early stages of his career, Cawthon now oversees a franchise that has become one of YouTube's biggest gaming hits in Five Nights at Freddy's. 
In the series, you need to survive rampaging animatronics seemingly possessed by the spirits of dead children that once inhabited a Chuck E. Cheese-like pizzeria. Five Nights at Freddy's was never about graphical fidelity, and it only recently ventured into true 3D space with the VR game Help Wanted. But that didn't stop it from featuring in Sony's official stream alongside AAA giants like Final Fantasy Call of Duty and Spider-Man, a high mark of validation for an indie developer. Not much is confirmed about the story or gameplay other that it involves an 80s mall environment, ripped straight out of something like Stranger Things, and hiding from a new antagonist in a bunny suit called Vanny. It will be interesting to see where this series goes, graphically and gameplay-wise. Thanks for watching and if you liked the video, hit the like button. Tell us in the comments which games are you waiting for to be released.